Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some RimWorld, shall we? Well, we have a lot of work to do. As always, thank you so much everyone for commenting and helping me out as we get things moving in our, you know, first attempt at this game, first fort. And I think my number one priority at the moment is to try and acquire the materials necessary to make parkas. So uh, my buddy Fading has commented that I could turn these fields that I already have as fields and grow uh, cotton and then try to process the cotton into cloth and so I can get that started. So even if it's not ready, you know, maybe next time, um, I need to do more research, it seems like. Uh, and little Timmy, someone, uh, 100 ton, Indra, Space Cookie, thank you everyone for commenting. People seem primed that I'm going to get a raid soon, and it'll probably happen and wipe my entire little settlement. But what I'm also hoping for is maybe if that does happen that we can uh, capture someone and convince them to join because I really need another member of our team. Three is just kind of brutal for all the things that I want to do, but, uh, you know, it's what we've got. So uh, let's go ahead and dive into upgrading our parka situation in just a second. Okay, so if I click on this field and I say plant, I'm going to say plant um, cotton and plant cotton. And I'm, I don't, I mean, I think that your people must just be able to get infinite seeds for whatever you want to plant. You must not need seeds somehow. And that's fine. Uh, and then now what we do is we allow sowing. And then we allow sowing. Okay, and then let's kind of just unpause the game, speed it all the way up, and see what people start to do. This will get finished by Emmy, hopefully, and Eugene will finish Operation Hall. Now, Fading gave me the good point uh, that, you know, remember how I was saying in Dwarf Fortress, the game basically scales how many uh, immigrants or dwarves it sends from the motherland to your encampment based on kind of how much space you have, how many open beds you have, how much food you have, things like that. Like basically rating your your uh, capability for hosting a new dwarf. And in a similar way, this game, at least as I understand it, the AI evaluates your settlement based on its... Uh, monetary assessment. So if I were to go, for example, and pick up this jade or gold or some valuable things and put them in my base, then raiders that come by would be more dangerous because it would be more, they would have more incentive to come attack me because, hey, I have valuable stuff. And so I don't really want to do that at the moment. I don't want to give anyone any extra reason to bring more muscle over here to take me out. Uh, so I'm going to kind of avoid being too flashy until I get more people, better defenses, and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and unpause it. And Emmy is wearing her cowboy hat and going to eat a cowgirl breakfast. And now what's she doing? Um, she is hauling steel. She's going to build the battery. Great. I really want these batteries built. Um, you guys were commenting about uh, the fact that I can build... Uh, I think someone was saying solar panels, and solar panels sound awesome, but I do believe I would need some serious research to get there. Luckily, uh, someone was verifying that smithing is good, and let's see, oh yeah, I see solar panels over here, um, and I have air conditioning. Auto doors sound hilarious, uh, and luckily, I think I could get right there if I wanted to. I'm going to stay on smithing, which is what I'm doing. I don't have very good progress, but that's okay. Oh, you know what? I actually... I might turn down his uh, research. 
so that we can grow some stuff at the moment to try to get this cotton going. Let me turn that up. And then what's Eugene going to do? Eugene's probably going to cook, right? Oh, he's refueling the lamp. Well, please don't do that. Um, now what are you doing, dude? He's refueling all the lamps. Okay, well, that's a thing I guess you can do. Now, Eugene, what are you up to? Oh, my God. He's refueling all the lamps. All right, well, touche. Emmy is uh, going to pave this. Now, what happened to the battery? Did it get built? It did. And it has... Okay, so the battery has been built. And it says right here it has 6 out of 600... Um, I don't know what WD mean. Watts. Whatever. Uh, we have 6 power stored there. 50% efficiency. I don't know why it's only 50% efficiency. Is it because... Um, it's just not a good one? Like... I can build a better battery that's more efficient later or something like that. Anyway, whatever. We're not getting much power right now anyway. Um, but this is, it's all the battery power has just been used. Uh, that's too bad. Now, Emmy's going to build this bedroom. Terrific. And Eugene is hauling rice to the stockpile. Good. He's feeding the animals. That's exactly what we want to happen. Weaves is now working on growing, which also we want to happen. And once Eugene gets everything sorted, you know, by hauling things around, I could give him some other tasks. Oh my god. Oh, he's cloud watching. Okay, he's doing recreation. That's totally fine. Weaves is going to pray. Yeah, we need some prayer. And again, you don't you just love this game? My people are, or my pawns, whatever you want to call them, my armless, legless blobs are wearing cowboy hats. Weaves has had an eye taken out by an angry predator that you guys saw earlier and is still doing his thing. He's actually pretty good, except for the fact that um, he's not getting the chemicals he wants. But he, he rates his bedroom as awful, which, you know... This is a big bedroom with a lot of stuff. I, I, I'm ashamed that he doesn't consider it to be better, but we don't have the cloth for the armchair, so, you know, that's not going to happen. Maybe that would help, but we don't have that. Okay. And in the meantime, Emmy's going to work here. It's not a huge negative that he's got for his bedroom, so that's fine. Okay, cool. Cotton is coming in. And indeed, you don't have to have seeds. They just do that. So that's cool. Alright, and let's see. Eugene, what are you up to? You are hauling eggs. Okay, so he's moving stuff into the freezer. Good. How cold is it in the freezer? It is freezing. Look at this. This rice will is frozen and will not spoil. Quest active. Um, saving Lou. A prisoner being held by Lol but Bonatro Kinship has managed to steal a radio and call you. Lou is being held at a camp near Incompetentia under armed guard. Rescue her and she will join your colony. She is a 67 year old prostitute idol. She says that there's an enemy outpost at the site guarded by one tribesman and there may be an unknown threat. If you miss this opportunity, you may never hear from Lou again. Um, okay. So, they rate this as too difficulty, which means hard. And... I mean... Who doesn't want a 67-year-old prostitute idol in their settlement? It, I think that is pretty self-explanatory. But the problem is... I mean, how old is Weaves? He's 51. How old is Eugene? 26. And how old is Emmy? 28. Okay, well... You know, Weaves is, I guess, in midlife. I, we could get a... A geriatric. She, a 67 isn't full-on geriatric. That's fine. She could maybe do stuff. But, uh, you know, 
the idea obviously is more about just rescuing another human being um oh they're mating our ducks are mating we might have more ducks soon exciting but the problem is are we going to get killed by doing this so if i look at my quest screen right and i go to jump to the camp where is this camp it's way up here so um it's it's you know a stone's throw from the parrot ankle sea in fen graybush and we're here and so we'd have to move way up here and then take them down now emmy could probably shoot and kill them but weaves has one eye is nigh on useless in a in a fight um I might just take Eugene, who's a melee specialist, and Emmy over there to, like, try and, and shoot to get that, uh, you know, Lou to rescue the senior citizen prostitute. But I don't know if it's worth it. Like, it, it's two stars. Am I ready for two stars? It seems like it's too hard. And yet... What I could do, I could cheese this. I, you know what I could do? I, I'm going to try to cheese it. Um, let me make a new save called Rescue. And then what we can do is just save it here. And then we can go over there. And if it goes so badly, um, I think I can load my game. Or I, I might have that wrong. Maybe it's a roguelike and you just can't do that. But I kind of feel like it might auto... No, well, no, it, I should be able to load my save. I want to get an idea for how hard this would be without losing everything if it's a complete mistake. I don't know if that, you know, that might not be in the spirit of the game, but I do want another person really badly, even if they are 67. Um, and who knows, maybe her and Weaves could hook up, become a, you know, a stable romantic couple and uh, put, get some pressure off of emmy uh and bring up everybody's mood we'd rescue another person it's, it seems like the right thing to do uh we're we're outputting a ton of power and our battery is almost full so it's really cool to see this working um this room is is pretty cool it's very it's still pretty hot outside so what i, I might leave yeah i'll leave weaves here to just tend to the crops and I'm going to take Eugene. And Eugene has what? He doesn't have a... He has a, his knife. Um, and his knife is how good? Damage per second, 8.9. What about this club? Oh, it's all busted. Yeah, so it's not as good because it's all worn down. Okay. And then Emmy has her gun, which... Um, is well range damage per second does it show me um, 18 damage i guess dps doesn't matter uh or doesn't calculate the same way it's a bolt action so she only gets one shot like every two years uh, but at the same time we could do it what is this stuff steel slag chunks why does it look all frayed like that anyway whatever and is this that's more chunks okay all right so i'm gonna take um I'm going to, I guess, draft Eugene and draft Emmy. And then I'm going to, uh, can I make like a group? Assign, can I make like a team or something? Like a combat team? Like how do I tell Emmy to go to the world map and go to a another place? Prisoner camp. Right. I want to go do that. Um, how do I do it? Um, I don't think I understand how to move people, actually. On the world map, I can go here, examine the world map, form and manage caravans. Okay, so maybe I would need to form a caravan? 
or something. But I don't... How would I... Like, Eugene... Um, I don't know how to do that. Here, let me see if I can figure it out. Caravan. Forming caravans. Here we go. Uh, oh, you have to select my home base and then select form caravan. Here we go. Form caravan. Um, and we're going to go there. Add one or more waypoints. Okay. And then I added that. It's going to take one day. Okay, accept. And then we're going to just take um, Emmy. And we're going to take Eugene. And we're going to take... I mean, do I want to take a camel? I think Fading was saying it goes faster with a camel, but it's so close that I don't see the need to do that. Um, travel supplies. Let's, let's give people... Um, it looks like we're already taking four medicine and ten package survival meal. Is that right? That seems good. I'm actually okay with that. Alright. I'm going to send them. Your caravan only has... Oh. Go back. 2.6 days of food. Um, well, it's only 0.9 days, so they're not going to need more days than that. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. Do that. Alright, I'm going to send them on this journey just to try it out. Even though it's, you know, not much food, but it's, it's a very short trip. So I'm going to just unpause it and see what happens. Can I see? I can see them. They're not, she's not leaving. Aren't you going to go? Why are you standing there? Shouldn't you be going? Maybe you wait for the next day or something? Forming caravan, watching for targets. Oh, do I have to, like, undraft? No, she's getting supplies. Okay, it takes a little bit of time to, like, gather supplies. Okay, so she's going. There they go. There they go. All right, cool. All right, I'm going to just, like, follow with them uh, and see if I can. All right. Um, Emmy's caravan has formed and is now traveling on the world map. Okay, so let's watch them go. Is that them? All right. Are they moving? Hello? Caravan? Um, Weaves is sleeping. The caravan must be... Are they sleeping? Okay, they were sleeping. Alright, interesting. They made it like... They hiked like two feet. And then they are like, we gotta sleep. Alright, here we go. Go, caravan. We can do this. I feel... 10% confident. They're going for it. They are going for it. Okay. Um, can I, like, click on her and see any... Now, there's no real information, maybe, until they get to a node on the map. Oh, my God. I'm so nervous. It's going to take 0. 0.3 days to get there. We're getting there. I'm going to pause it. I'm just going to check in on Weaves. What are you doing, Weaves? He's researching, I suppose. Uh, it looks like all the cotton is planted. The animals all have food. I mean, that's fantastic, honestly. Weaves, how are you doing? He was upset that he had to go outside, doesn't like his bedroom, and needs some drugs. But other than that, um, he's got a minor passion for his work. He likes the spacious interior. He's been inside. Okay, well, that's good. And let's just go back to this. 
All right, we're getting close. Hopefully the game will, like, switch to another mode. I don't know how it's going to handle me arriving at the prison camp with my caravan. We'll find out. Some real bonding time between Emmy and Eugene. Oh, the dromedary has given birth, so we have a new camel. So even more milk for us. All right, they arrived. Generating map for new encounter. Okay, I got to check this out. Um, jump to location. Yep, go in. Zoom in, please. B. Okay, pause. All right, so... Yeah, it looks like there's actually only one person holding them, which is... Um, Bill Trat... Bill Tra... Bill Traxus, um, who's an archer, a 41-year-old archer. Um, and where are we? Emmy, where are you at? You're over here. All right. So what we need you to do is um, fire. They have some sandbags, though, so that's problematic. Lou is in here, and um, there's some stuff in there. So I'm going to have uh, Emmy just, like, fire. Can't hit there. Okay. Let's, let's get closer. Maybe we can use the sandbags to our advantage. Um, all right, you two... Uh, go here. Positioning fighters. Right click and drag to have your drafted fighters form a line. Spread out. Bunch targets are easy to hit. Well, there's only one of us. Okay, so I think I feel... Okay, oh my god, they're moving too fast. Let me slow it down to like speed one. And we're trying to sneak up here. What do you mean right click? Oh, I see. Okay, no, no. I want um, Emmy to be way in front. No, no. Why does it keep having me move Eugene? Oh, no, no, Eugene does want to go in front because Eugene needs to stab people. Um, okay, interesting. Well, let's wait until we get a little bit closer. All right, we're getting closer. Emmy's behind the tree. Does the tree provide cover? It says 25% cover. Yeah, so she could totally hide behind a tree. All right, Emmy, you're going to hide behind this tree. Okay, Eugene, you're going to just wild man it out here. Let's see what happens. I don't see anybody yet. I don't see anybody yet. Where's the bad guy? Can I, like, before I could just see the bad guy, but now I can't. And I'm confused, and my feelings are hurt. Um, what is this? It's an Ibex Ram. Okay, great. All right, then, if we still can't see the bad guy, um, Emmy, can you go here, and Eugene, can you go down here? Oh, my God, there they are. Okay. We're not in a good spot, but things have happened. Things have changed. All right, dude. Eugene, I need you to just go stabbing her. And, Emmy, I need you to just fire away right now. Um, so Eugene apparently got hit. And how badly did you get hit? You have a bruise on your right shoulder. That's, that's okay. Did we, did anybody, um, let me see the, the log here. Um, Emmy fired with her rifle. Viltraxus hit her with the... Eugene with his fist. But then... Eugene, handling his knife competently... That's good for, for incompetentia. Hit Viltraxus with a chop from his knife's blade, wounding her right femur, right tibia, right foot, and right leg. Wow, the foot? I mean... Femur? It's like he stabbed his knife into her thigh and then dragged that knife down with the chomp. It was like a sweeping motion where he hit her thigh, then went down, you know, to her lower leg calf area for the tibia, then just finished off by hitting the foot. Good shot, dude. Ooh. Did Emmy hit? Oh my god. Oh, she's dead. She's dead. Look at this. Emmy, Emmy's bolt-action rifle bullet obliterated Bill Traxxas's left lung. 
and then Eugene used his knife to slam Bill Traxis, wounding her left shoulder. Holy cannoli, this person is aced. I don't know how... You, you took a bullet to the lung, and you're still standing? You should be just absolutely gone. Let's see what's going on here. Severe pain, 71% consciousness. Yeah, it's pretty much... It's pretty much over at this point. So that's good. Let's just finish the job. Okay, let me see the log again. Eugene hit her with the with a bash from his fist, bashing her head and skull. Oh my. Now, obviously, you know, I could try some amazing thing where I take off my weapons and I go in, you know, bare hand to try to, like, beat Bill Traxxas unconscious and then take her back as a prisoner to buy to my camp but you know morally i i don't see how i want to try to convert someone who was a slaver and capture the 67 year old prostitute and was holding her prisoner I, that seems I mean, I mean, I'm holding people prisoner, I guess, but I'm good because I say so. But at the same time, also, I mean, can you imagine the, the settlement dynamic if I did convert Bill Traxxas and Lou has to, like, work, see her every day? Oh, yeah, I'll just, you know, forget about the whole slavery business and, you know, we can be friends. I just don't see it. So I'm curious what you guys think. You know, what would you do in this spot? But I'm just going to take her down. Oh, my God, we got her. Area is now safe. You can reform the caravan on the world map. We will. But first, Emmy, can you um, save her? Is there, like, a right click? Um, cannot go here. No path. Oh, we'll find a path. Uh, does she have stuff, by the way? What's on the ground right there? There's, like, pemmican. Ooh, that's a lot of pemmican. Um allow that pemmican so can we get that eugene can you pick up the pemmican thank you and then what's on this square is there a way to see strip of the clothes yep 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 um all right so he's picking up that can you um oh let's 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 uh i'm gonna um you can you can undraft emmy oh what you gotta do immediately eat um capture her? No, I don't think so. Strip her. Let's see if she has any clothes for the winter. Great. What is this? Cloth tribal wear. Um, no, that's no good. Alright, now what's Emmy doing? Consume. She's gonna eat. And then what are you... You're watching for targets. I'm gonna undraft you. Um, and then Eugene, can you, um... Can you go over here? I need you to get into prison, so can you, like, do something about this? You can't? What are you doing? Well, how do we how do we help you? Maybe I have to draft you again? Cannot go here. No path. Well, go here. What do you mean, no path? What, we can't get in the door? Yeah, break open the door. Whatever it takes, dude. All right, Emmy, what are you doing? You're still eating. Okay. Now what are you doing? You're like, you're sleeping? Now, wait a minute. This is not the place to be sleeping. Can you help? All right, fine. You sleep. He got it. Okay, Eugene, can you help her? Free the prisoner. And we did it. And she joined. Hunter lacks ranged weapon. She's a hunter. She's lacking a weapon. Maybe, do you have a bow? I mean, there was a bow. Is there a way to see what else is on this tile? Um, I see a bow, like, lying underneath her, but maybe it's just not something we can claim. Okay. So, you have rescued Lou, and she has joined your group. Excellent! You can take her with you by reforming the caravan in the world screen by selecting this area 
and choosing the reform caravan option. Okay. Um, all right, so cool, we'll do that. Um, Eugene has been hurt. Unhappy nudity. Oh, can you go get these clothes? Um, force wear? Does she not want to wear it? She's like, hi. And then she's going to go get this. Um, okay, let's pick up all this stuff. There's so much pemmican. And rice and meals. And what's in this? Passive cooler? Now we don't need that. Alright, now do you want to wear it? Gear? Uh, she doesn't want to wear it. She's just nude. I mean, we have a nude old old woman here. We gotta help you out. Okay, so... Can you go inside here? Ooh, equip the short bow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, she's got a bow now, at least. Um, and... Yeah, pick up this. Can you, like, just pick that up? Let's pick up all the stuff. Emmy, I need you to pick up the pemmican. We're going to have to wake you up. This isn't the time for whatever you're doing. We need to get home. All right, they want to sleep. All right, well, Eugene, I'm going to undraft you. What are you doing now? He's sleeping. And, um, they're upset. They're not getting a good night's sleep. I can understand that. Um, can I draft you and just have you go here? Let's see if there's anything inside here. Okay, what is this? Bedroom. Um, yeah, pick up this tribal wear. Great. I know I had to force you to wear that, but, um, I want war mask. What? Oh my God. That war mask is awesome looking, by the way. Um, pick up the mask. Now, can you open a door beyond just melee attacking it? No, no, no. Um, here, fire at, uh, the wooden door. We're hurting it. I don't know why I'm doing this, by the way. Um, oh, okay, Eugene's awake. Uh, and where is Emmy? She's still sleeping. All right. Everybody's going to be upset, but uh, and Eugene, I'm going to draft you and just have you uh, this wood. Let's see if there's anything else that we want to take in this place before we move on. I don't know. How's that door? Almost gone. This door is also almost gone. Oh, wait a minute. You're not dead. Oh, my God. This person isn't dead. I thought for sure. I took their clothes off. I thought they were a dead... Well, do we capture them? Here we are. With that moral quandary I was just talking about. We contend. He contend to her. Sure. This door is never going to break. Got it. Oh my god, it's another door. Um, okay, can you just melee attack the wooden door? How's it going? Not good. Alright, so he's still tending to her. And... You know what? Maybe, maybe I have it all wrong. You guys tell me. Maybe I have it all wrong. Maybe I need to be a man of forgiveness... And, you know, Bill Traxxas fell on hard times. And we can rehabilitate her. And Lou can learn to live. I don't know. It seems ridiculous. But, uh, let's find out. I'm using my medicine on this. We're definitely capturing this person and seeing what we can do. At the very... Man... It's just door after door that we can't break through. How's your health now? 
15% consciousness, blood loss severe. Um, well, they've been tended. Extreme pain. This is kind of... The game is trolling me at this point with just doors upon doors and nothing... Nothing to find. But I guess the real treasure was the memories that we created and the person that we rescued. Okay, that, yeah, that's that's unbelievable. Okay, so good job, Lou. There's nothing there. Um, all right. So, Emmy, can you wake up and uh, capture no reachable, unreserved, enclosed prisoner marked bed in safe temperature? Not after I've broken all the doors. Okay, so what we're going to do is be like, hey, we fixed her up a little bit. She's probably going to bleed to death, but... Let's just pretend that, you know, we'll leave her here. And boom. Let's see what, how she's doing now. Uh, not good. Not moving, not manipulating, not talking, not eating, barely breathing. We may have just prolonged her misery. That I might have even performed an act of bigger cruelty by doing what I just did, stabilizing her, um, and just causing her a slower death. I, that probably is what happened. I, now I feel worse. But let's just forget about that and just click on Reform Caravan, and we're going to go back to our base, and we're going to accept that route, and we're going to take Emmy, Eugene, and Lou. It still says prostitute. It's going to say that forever. Um, and we could capture this person. Do we want to take her? Let's try to take her. Let's see what happens. She has value. We could at least sell her into slavery um, if we wanted to just bring it all full circle. We could teach her the ultimate lesson of empathy by selling her into the slavery that she perpetuated on a 67-year-old Nightwalker. All right, so... She's been reborn, though. I mean, she's wearing, like, full-on tribal gear with a hunting mask. She's got a bow. She's ready to go. Uh, we don't have much food, but that's okay. We're going to send that caravan. Go for it. All right. And unpause it. Full speed. Let's see if the caravan moves. They got to get their supplies. They got to go. The good thing is we'll have a ton of food. We have all this pemmican that we're bringing home. At least I hope we are. Eugene, let me... Actually, let me go into you really fast. Where are you? Lou's Caravan. It's called Lou's Caravan. That's so funny. Um, do we have the pemmican? Yeah, we do. Look at all this. We got a bunch of food from this. Okay, so cool. I'm back at my base. The battery is full. Weaves is uh, researching. He looks like he was feeding the animals. And I think the animals at this point... Like, if I look in this pen... Um, eh, we're still not growing enough food for them. And we did just have some babies. What I might do is just build... Like, expand the pen this way... And then remove this fence... So that it's even larger... And we can try to grow enough food for them... So that we don't have to constantly put stuff in their stockpile. But that's just, you know, down the road. I guess. How's the research going? Not good. But it is... You know, I think like little Timmy told me, the one I lost is going to uh, really hinder us. All right, here comes our caravan. We're taking the route down the river. Go, you beautiful people. Oh, no. Fire starting spree. Emmy is on a fire starting spree. What? Oh, because she's pyromaniac. Well, I'll tell you what. Emmy's a pyromaniac. And that's a good incentive for us to um, turn all of our stone into stone blocks and rebuild uh, as much as we can in terms of having stone to prevent fire. But number two, it's great that she's on her spree out in the wilderness. You just burn... Start... 
some fires. You know what I mean? Do it. Just not at, at home. Oh, Eugene is already fully healed. Just, like, his shoulder bruise is absolutely back. Gone. One downed. What does downed mean? Does that mean the prisoner is downed? I hope so. Yeah, I saw this. Um, okay. Bill Traxxas is no longer capable of walking. That's going to hurt the resale value if we decide to get into the human trafficking trade. Maybe we can just... You know what we can do? Is we can just make Bill Traxxas a wheelchair and have her research forever. Okay. Um, the caravan has arrived. Jump to the location. Fantastic. Um, we are going to immediately turn this back, um, this room back into a prison. Okay. And um, we're gonna, let's see, make sure that Emmy's working. She has Warden high up. She does. Okay, great. And let's see if the, the caravan comes back. Oh, it's too fast. Okay, let's watch them go. And what did they do with that person? Did they just leave her body down there? Or did she die? I don't even see her anymore. Um. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need warm clothes for sure. Okay. Uh, our supplies have gone up. We've got some leather. Can you make um at the tailor's bench? Can we can we create some um, parkas? We don't need any more cowboy hats. Um, if I want to make a... What is patch leather? Uh, um, yeah, I mean, I'd need 80 ingredients to make a Parker. So I need, I need way more leather than I have. Um... Where did the person go? Bill Traxxas. Emmy, what are you doing? Unloading inventory, unloading inventory, unloading inventory. Bill Traxxas just might be dead. I, I don't see them anywhere. Um, Emmy and Lou chatted about zucchini, so they're getting along great. Um, I don't see anything about that prisoner, so they, they might have died. There might be a dead body around here. Oh, no, it's, she's over here. Okay. Um, I need Emmy. You need to arrest her. Um, I think I have to draft you, and then you can arrest her. It's okay. The person you are trying to arrest may not go quietly. Um, they're going to go quietly. They're dead. I'm going to unpause it. Let's get her in jail. All right, we're 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 here. We made it. And what's Lou up to? You know what? We get to check and see what Lou is even good at. Like, what are her skills? We can... Um, what are you good at? What do you do? She's... Oh, my God. Well, I guess she's a master at social. I guess she is. I guess she is a master at social. With 67 years in the uh, escort trade. You know what, though? That's going to be great for our base. We need some social smoothing. We need to be able to have fun. And she can, like, interact with everybody who comes by the traders and everything like that, negotiate with them, and she can um, convince people to join us because she's so socially adept. Uh, she's also pretty reasonable at cooking at level 4. Eugene, how are you at cooking? You're at level 7. Um, but anyway, Lou, what else are you good at? Artistic. You can shoot okay. Alright, fine. Well, whatever. You're gonna be. You're about to be doing everything, so that's great. And I'm going to unpause it. I'm going to see if Emmy's going to go get 
Um, Bill Traxxas. Oh, Bill Traxxas is trying to move. I thought they were incapable of walking. They're moving, but it's it's real slow. Oh, God, we got her. She's naked. She's freezing. She's horrifyingly injured. Let's haul this person back. Um, I also want to turn... We want to allow that corpse. And, Lou, what are you doing now? Playing chess. She's like, I just got out of... Uh, a really bad situation, and now I'm going to play some chess. Oh, it's recreation time on the schedule. Right, right. Minor break risk is Emmy. She's upset because she hasn't had any downtime, and that's fine. Um, put her in jail, and then... Emmy, what you doing? Um, undraft. You can go chill. You can do whatever you want. Oh, she took off her cowboy hat to put on the mask. Look at that. She didn't want to wear her cowboy hat anymore. She wants to wear a wooden war mask because it's terrifying. It makes them more confident. Well, interesting. She's not a cowboy. She's a wooden war mask type of person. Touche. Well, everyone, um, <laughs> this has been a hilarious episode. I, I don't need to reload my save because we were able to actually go in there and get a new colonist, and we have a prisoner... Uh, we got a bunch of food, and things are really, really going well for us, hopefully. Uh, we do have a pyromaniac and a wood structure uh, that's going to be a problem later, but, you know, for right now, we're not burning. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have an excellent evening or day. If you liked the video, please give it a like. Consider subscribing if you haven't done so yet. There are links in the description below for uh, becoming a member or a patron to support me further, and... I thank you all so much. I will check you guys next time. I look forward to reading your tips. Take care.